Hey everyone, welcome to the podcast. I think this is episode 14. <laughs> oh, um, side note, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the first note. It's not a side note. <laughs> I think, uh, isn't yeah, today... Yeah, hold that thought, Christian. <laughs> isn't today the... I've officially passed my four-month probation period where you said if I miss any of them. Ooh. No. No. If it's episode 14, that's less than... Think like about it. Three and four half. months in a in a in a four months in a no <laughs> four weeks in a month. It would be episode four, eight, 12. sixteen, but it's like not exactly four weeks. Because so we've also skipped maybe a couple onto weeks something. too, right? A week no, or two. Have we? No, we, yeah, we, we've gone all the way. I've skipped a couple. Yeah, we've always had. I've an been here. wait. You we missed one week, so it's fifteen weeks because you were gone somewhere. Remember? Oh right, we were in San Diego, but so we still th- recorded that. Did we not? No, I, I recorded mm. for Japan. They pre-recorded it. Oh, buddy. Someone get me a calendar. So I think I'm like I'm obviously not planning on vamosing oh. anytime soon, but I think uh, oh, oh, I think I'm on the hook. I see when the first upload date was, but I'm pretty sure you still got like three more weeks to go. You need to charge them for something else now, Christian, <laughs> <laughs> so we don't lose them. He just re- reset the bet. I, I just can't wait because Rob now for the next few podcasts he's gonna be like, oh, well, I don't have to stay here. I anymore, mean, I don't so. have to be here, guys. You know, my time is pretty important these <laughs> no, days. No, Rob, you you have like, yeah, two more. Two more. Yeah. Okay. Because we start. Wait. When did we start? Though? Oh wait. We had episode zero. Ooh. About that. Ooh. What day did it go live though? Was it September or August? I don't remember because I deleted it off the main channel and it's on the second channel where I uploaded it later. Oh. Later. Uh, I, I saw you did here, so you scattered I think we the gave paper it to trail. Him. Christian <laughs> scattered no, the paper trail so more we can never. Was it the first? Can't you just look at the files? No, he's got next week, which is <laughs> no, I deleted them. <laughs> what the fuck? He's got I next to week. Dude, this You're is free. some. This is a conspiracy. He wow. scattered the paper trail, so we'll never be able to know. Everyone, f in chat. Oh wait, I do have the first file. Uh-huh. Uh huh. September fourth. Ooh, so, yeah, you got you got two more weeks, Rob. About there, yeah. Ooh. Okay. See you next Monday, pal. I, I guess I'll have to postpone some flights and shit that I had booked, but. <laughs> Eight, nine. I already looked at it. It's definitely two more weeks. I just see a giant cog above Christian's head right now, just like grinding away. Yeah, you should have uh, two more podcasts after this. Which is actually perfect because that's that brings you to the 30th. <laughs> yeah, yeah the you, start set your con- you, you need I to re- sign I need to resign my contract. Yeah, for, the, <laughs> for the beginning of next year. <laughs> start resign the year my contract. Off fresh. Uh, it's like 20,000 or nothing. <laughs> it's like I, I get paid in like random food items that are that are prepared for me whenever <laughs> i show up oh, did, then, you get, uh, did you get some pasta i got some pasta today Damn, it was actually been here so. earlier mm-hmm. you blew it fuck don't mm-hmm. worry you probably would have had like a stomach ulcer as soon as you had yeah, it i probably wouldn't have eaten it ulcer. it was delicious i had one and a half grilled so, cheese yeah but i remember it. when i was 15 yeah i don't gourmet though too long ago. So, <laughs> right, made on a brioche bun with like mozzarella mm-hmm. green onions yes sir you put onions in a grilled cheese no oh <laughs> no, that wouldn't be bad. definitely not green ones Maybe a bit of parsley up in that bitch. Mm-hmm. Some parsley. Some, some fresh cracked pepper on the inside. I would. I would. Eh, pepper yes, and grilled cheese. Sir. I get. And you have to salt. You have to season all of your sandwiches. No. Have I? Have we gotten to the argument where you, if you put meat inside a grilled cheese, it turns into a panini, and it's no longer a grilled cheese. Well, when it I was turns in, into like a melt. Yeah. Yeah. When I was in Vegas, I had our ordered grilled cheese, and it had like six strips of bacon. When I was in Vegas. What do you mean? What do you mean? It turns into like, is it just like evolve in front of your eyes? Yeah. <laughs> like, it like yeah. tries to, to stop it from evolving. Yeah. <laughs> you have to like, hold it down with a finger, or else it's gonna like try and bite you. Yeah. So you mentioned Vegas. Were you just in Vegas or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you like a world traveler or some shit? Unfortunately, I've traveled way too much this year. Oh wow. Uh, I mean, it's well, a good problem. Listen to this life. guy. Listen wow. to this. Plays Man, video games this, for a living. Bro. Gets to go travel the world. Oh, I just want to be at home. I just want to be at home. It's tiring. Oh, it's so tiring. <laughs> but to put Got into to pers- go to Japan. To put into perspective, I flew twice in the eight years before this year. This year, I flew. I want to say like almost twenty times. Hey, I set my record too. I I flew like twice. <laughs> <laughs> I flew once, so I guess that means I'm in last. Unless you didn't fly anywhere. I don't know. I've flown a lot this year. This year, this year. Oh yeah, you were in BC for a bit, weren't you? Yeah, like every I'd other probably week. like probably like four <laughs> to six. Fuck, he has a house out not there. Last if you, place, if let's you go, go with connecting in Calgs, maybe. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Just connect connect overall yeah. flights. Then I have like I have six this year, if you're counting overall. Same. I just had a bunch of connecting flights. I only have one, and it was to to Cuba. Two. And it was this world's sketchiest airport. Only but. one. 
So like, well, no, I flew. You, you, you're still in Cuba right yeah. now. Yeah. Well, I no, flew no, there. Like one and overall then, trip. And then we like our plane crashed or down over the <laughs> over, over the Orient Sea. So and I then, had to and like, then you're on like ten seasons of a TV show. Yeah. What do you mean the Orient Sea? The Orient. Bro, you never heard of the Orient Sea? Yeah. The Bermuda Triangle. It's yeah. where the Orient Express is. Is that yeah. actually what it's called? <laughs> yeah, man. Don't fuck Are with me. Are you stupid? <laughs> fuck yeah, you. Yeah, you didn't, didn't, didn't learn that fake. in history? <laughs> the Gulf of Mexico. No, Liar. but I had to swim back. And I, I, I befriended various aquatic mammals and organi- organisms. I almost said orgasms. <laughs> <laughs> Throw back to that science class when someone says orgasm back. So everyone's like, holy fuck. Rob, Rob met Aquaman. I became Aquaman. Yeah. <laughs> you see my beard? True. That's yeah, awful. Okay, whatever, man. Wow. He goes to Vegas, Bro. comes back. So that's high, so high and mighty. Eh? I do have a. Yeah, he's like, oh, look at me, went to Vegas. I have a wholesome <laughs> story to tell you guys. Aww. Aww. Okay. Does it involve puppies? No. Does it involve cats? That wouldn't be wholesome. True. Good <laughs> trick question. You got it. Um. So we did a mean greet. <laughs> he did dick shame on the Saturday. We uh, wait. Actually, yeah. Like the all the content creators who were on like one of the booth things and people just came by and got stuff signed and i had two people come up oh and the oh, first thing total <laughs> that's huge and oh they walked God. right past you to go to macy <laughs> he, made he made it uh, is this your security or something <laughs> <laughs> security's Anyways, gotta beef up a bit eh? <laughs> i had a couple come up and the first thing that the girl told me was that she loves the podcast oh hey. she didn't say anything oh, like she was just like she podcast is my favorite Drew. thing what's her name give her a shout out yeah. i didn't ask for her name. oh my what? god was she sexy oh. did you sound, oh, did you oh, oh, he said he couple, said couple. Oh. oh i oh i was in <laughs> bro apologize <laughs> like, to the man a say couple, sorry like, right now a couple like a couple and two separate people came <laughs> so. up all right i'm sorry for uh hitting on your girlfriend man <laughs> I like how Rob's first reaction is just, <laughs> girl, was she sexy? Maybe got back? <laughs> Anyways, they, they came up yeah. and they were like, oh, we, we've been listening to your podcast a bunch. Like every episode, they go on road trips and they put it on and listen to it. Because normally everyone who came up was just like, oh, I watch your uh, YouTube. I was like, what do you watch? And like, Siege School. Oh, yeah. Like, that's all of them. That's, that's, that's the third but person said that. That was, <laughs> that was the first person that I've ever had tell me, like over either in voice or over person or in person saying that they love the podcast and i was like oh hey well, shout out them. appreciated i, mean, I wish, you, I wish you were single but they're yeah. still much appreciated oh my God. goodness comment your name so we can give you proper uh yeah you know, comment your uh, instagram we're just, we're just, like, just decided just not to ask your name <laughs> <laughs> that was me <laughs> it's me <laughs> i better be <laughs> um that's sick though yeah uh so any other stories from vegas did you see anything frightening oh yeah it's vegas how much um, money did you lose at the chino i only I, lost like three thousand four thousand um, ten thousand rolex i lost i think overall in the four days i spent like 10 hours at the tables and i lost about 40 bucks that's Decent. good and in that time like i got about eight free drinks so like and so, the drinks there are 15 bucks each so yeah I mean, you get as, long free as, drinks. Pl- as long as you're playing you, they give them to you free yeah what yeah mm-hmm. you just what? gotta be pretty much Posted up at like a roulette table yeah. or a table. This guy's out here, bet, out here betting toonies, getting free drinks. Yeah, <laughs> the, the minimum bet was ten per hand. So yeah, it's expensive there. Toonies, <laughs> it's five toonies, bro. Yeah, man, five toonies down the and drain. and three loonies for the attack or the yeah. exchange. What's rate? the most the money loonie. you saw someone throw at the table? Uh, one guy we were with had about like I think three thousand dollars, and oh. by the end of the night he had five hundred. <laughs> oh, geez. legend! Yeah, he, he just tosses his car keys on the table. He's like, "Fuck it." A lot of uh, the pro players were going up to like roulette table and just putting 500 on red and Band? losing it just like that. No, oh. uh, the house is happy that night probably. M- most of the pros, I think, lost like a couple hundred. I think only like Rookies, three of the man. content Wait, the creators. Pros? Yeah, those guys can't afford that. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. What are they going to be eating from now on? Like chips <laughs> for dinner? It's coming Literally. from rough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, bank account I'm rich update, as hell, bro. I just spot a bit. I'm so excited to talk bank about it. Bank um, Okay, I'm going to do it like a post-date bank account update. Okay. Uh, what does that mean? Date? Well, is it allowed? Well, we'll, we'll just get a I, ruling. What's the date? Well, uh, I'm trying to think of when I get Tomorrow. paid next. I think it's n- nah, a week from count. Friday. Right now, what's the bank As account? of now. <laughs> a week from Friday? You have two more podcasts to update us. Then. <laughs> this guy gets paid today. He's like, well, I'm going to do post-dated to, uh, you know. <laughs> two years from now. I'm going to give a cash for you bank account update. <laughs> <laughs> cash for you. This whole thing's going to turn into a fucking ad for like, 
What do you? What's that one place that? Uh, cash money. The place that doesn't lend. Money. Cash money. Cash Come money. Cash money. No. <laughs> um, so we're at about like two seventy something right now. It's not bad. That's but my next like paycheck. Well, it was funny because everyone's checking their pay stubs at work, right? And then um, I, had, I, I, I kind of forgot how like the pay system works. I hadn't worked in a while and you have to wait, you know, you don't get your yeah, pay yeah. for um, until after. So I, I, I was expecting to get some of the pay from like recent, but obviously it wasn't going to be my next one. So I hope Mike and uh, Niall and I are looking at my pay stub. Open it up. All we see is 43 bucks. <laughs> he's, just, he's just shitting his fucking pants. <laughs> Niall was, can you guys imagine that though? He was Niall just like was laughing. Dying. Like yeah. everyone's coming around, coming and pointing at everyone at work. <laughs> and then I was like, what the fuck? I was like so confused. And then I checked the thing and it was like, they only counted the one shift. And then I, had, and then I was gone for like three days as I had the other <laughs> That was interview. the one shift that he just told you to go home? <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> yeah. Dial. <laughs> <laughs> and I was literally laughing his fucking ass off. Do you get paid bi-weekly? Yeah. And, the, but, and it's weird because the commission comes in once at the, at the end of every month too. Yeah, hello, did you use the C word? That's sick. Commission? That's huge. Yeah. You get a whole separate check. It's like done from a different company. I think it gets taxed differently too. So it's like beneficial that way. I think it's considered a bonus. And uh, bonuses get taxed. Yeah, because I, I, it doesn't get taxed as hard as um, your normal pay. No? Which is nice. I thought no, it was it, supposed to. Oh, and on the topic of that, someone who I correspond with in the community reached out to me and said, you were completely wrong about waitresses and waiters and how they get paid. No, I'm not. Yeah, he told me he worked <laughs> as a as a waiter and he was like, the, the, the company doesn't cover shit. It's all like it's all tips. My it's, sister, it's my literally sister. legally obligated to it. it, it if the company but, doesn't do it, then that's illegal. I could also be country states. Sarah also <laughs> said like our, our takes on tipping was just they were awful. And she also said, fuck you, Drew. <laughs> she oh. literally texted me. I was like, well, who, were you on Rob's side or Drew? She, all she said was, fuck Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I have I have another tipping story. <laughs> oh gosh! So we were in Vegas. We're uh, back, baby. And, I'm at a tipping point. <laughs> and incoming, we, incoming triggered waitresses. <laughs> yeah. We we took a taxi from one hotel to the other. It was about a six minute drive, and the total taxi fare was eleven dollars. How much would you guys tip? Like two dollars. Well, was the person nice? He like maybe said one or two things, and that was it. Was it dollars? Was it taxi or Uber? A taxi. taxi. Uh, I don't know. That's your first mistake. Uh, yeah, it was cheaper for taxis and Ubers. Man, yeah, I have, I have an even anymore. harder part with this because you literally paid them for the drive. Mm-hmm. So if they didn't go be having a bond, what are you tipping them for? I'd I'd go like two, like two bucks. Under like, five, do you tip your two, Uber three. drivers? Like if, if he was personable, yeah, with a good rating, idiot. If he was personable <laughs> and they like, talked to me, I'd say Fuck, anywhere man, from two to five bucks. You. But like minimum, like max five minimum, like a okay. dollar. So. Um, in range. our group, <laughs> in our group, Austin paid for it just because we were like cycling who pays, and he tips two dollars, which is about twenty percent. Yeah. And as he tips it, all you hear is the taxi drivers go like "fuck you," and then he slams the door on him because Austin what? was inside the car paying for it. Slams the door. Austin just inside looking around, being like, <laughs> "What do I do?" Yeah. And then just like reaches over, grabs his receipt, and opens the door and walks out. <laughs> and the taxi driver walks around and like full-on slams his door like it was really loud and just storms Chill off out, Lucky. Man. and it was like two dollars is a 20 percent tip like what do you Ooh, and he got paid to drive you that and is his job he gets paid for the transportation and the drive was six minutes so it's not like that's we fucking took wild. him half an hour out that's of the why way. you don't do taxis yeah just ubers are always away. better than the, the than taxis i find tax drivers are generally assholes that's what i don't understand about like when uber was doing that like when uber was coming up and all the taxi drivers were pissed like <laughs> like i was like this is the best day ever yeah. <laughs> like what do you mean just do like just chain? do uber like, yeah like, like anyone oh, can do it god like fuck it's like um, you're not you're not legally allowed to get all of the market space for yeah. something it's just and that reminds me too the city i went to school in like it was they he's the, getting better the ta- yeah see <laughs> wow. I, he's not um, doxing himself anymore the, the taxi uh drivers like they started like a coalition to like not let uber into mm-hmm. the area and then eventually uber did get into the area and then I, that was Shocking. back in the day when like they had to have like the sticker on their car, I guess. Or back like in that. the day, um, I'm not back sure how it works now, day. but like I know you had to have on the, like on the on your back windshield or some. Some people and people have were like smashing don't. the light. The taxi driver. I had a taxi because I was late for class one day and I had to call a taxi to get there on time because my idiot neighbor blow me parked behind my car and they didn't answer the door. It was me. Fuck you. 
if you're still listening to this. It was you? <laughs> if you're still listening to this. <laughs> um, <laughs> they were listening up until this episode. Yeah. Um, but then uh, he, he was driving to school. It's like 8.45 in the morning. I'm half asleep. This guy's just ranting about Uber. Just literally yelling as he's mm-hmm. driving me somewhere. And then he's like, yeah, they probably won't be coming back after what we did to all their headlights. And I was like, oh. He's like, yeah, check the news later. You'll probably see some story about it. Sure enough, I checked the news. It's like all these Uber cars have had their headlights smashed in. <laughs> Legend. You probably, you probably Imagine still find- being so <clears throat> mad at a company that you take it out on random people's personal yeah, cars. Yeah, and then like, and then there was like a lawsuit that people were suing because yeah, I wonder I probably why. Should, I probably should have told someone about that taxi nah, guy telling me, but I also like he was the kind of guy that was like. Like probably would have like, hunted me down and killed me if yeah. he figured. I was like, I'll tell you what this taxi driver said if you put me on the, uh, um, on the front page of your shit. I don't know what, what's that no, like lawsuit protection. called when like a bunch of people go in. On oh, one... class action. Thank uh, you. Yeah. yeah, that one. I need witness protection after. Please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. We seriously. never hear from Rob again. <laughs> but there was some big stinks. Like I remember in Toronto, there was like hundreds yeah. of taxi drivers protesting. Like, yeah, rallies like, and because they made like a they were they were the only ones who like transported people. Yeah. So, other than a bus, so they made decent money. Like they could live off of it. Ooh. Uber comes in and cuts that in half. Uber cuts everybody. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, taxi drivers have to match. It's now yeah. what? Yeah, it's like. It it's great for us. I can't it, complain. It's great for everyone in the entire world, Except but taxi, taxi drivers. drivers. So man, they were also like overcharging a shit yeah, ton. Well, yeah, I think so. So it was the reason monopoly. Like I, I remember we were on vacation once. We were going somewhere. I think we were in like Ottawa. We had a really shitty taxi driver, and my dad had called him out because this guy, my dad, knows Ottawa from like where he used to he used to work there, and this he taxi driver Ottawa. was taking like the super long, yeah. stupid, stupid route. My dad's like, "Pull over. We're gonna get out and walk the rest of the way because like you're trying to run up our bill." taxi guy's like no like you know what i mean like we're in the car i can't do that my dad's like pull over i'm gonna call the cops kind of an overreaction i admit but like mm-hmm. i mean well, what else well, I, 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 I don't know i don't remember if we actually said call the cops or not like but like Yoda just <laughs> <laughs> playing with a knob on the side of the yeah. fucking car but he was my, he was, the help me but <laughs> he literally was like uh like pull over like you're rat you're running up a bill for no reason like i know how to get where we're going and you're taking the, the super long way the yeah. guy just panicked he's like oh no i can't do that but that's like pull over or i'm literally gonna do you know what i mean yeah they're just like kind of scummy you, man that used to happen all the time they take advantage of you in that sense if, if you if they know that you're a tourist they're gonna like mm-hmm. think like if i was driving someone from like point a to point b but getting paid for it like that's not exactly morally scumbag correct rob, but like you know what i mean you might as well like i don't know scumbag rob who tried to hit on a girl who <laughs> Bro, to our podcast it was a misunderstanding okay <laughs> okay <laughs> but if you play if you see like me up <laughs> I can't remember the last time I've been in a taxi, and I'm very happy. Me either. As soon that. as Uber was invented, done. Was I, I, Uber, guys. like if if I didn't Uber, I lifted or I walked. <laughs> <laughs> what, or wah, biked. Wah, what, what, what is that? What's word? walking? Yeah. <laughs> you know why taxis are so expensive? Because they suck. Well, because they have to pay for the licenses, and they're they like, have to pay for a medallion. Yeah, and in like, New York, that can run up to like I think it's a medallion. Like, yeah, it's they're a, like hundred k or some shit. No, in New York, they're like a million dollars or it's something. Crazy. They're really expensive. It's just like a literally just a permit saying that you can drive a taxi, yeah, and right. they only have X amount for each city. Don't people in New York actually make a ton of money though? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you just, you just sit in traffic and honk at people. <laughs> it's yeah. easy money. And and just go like, what the hell, yeah. man? <laughs> and then you just go smash the headlights. I'm walking yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> Driving it down. <laughs> wow. Oh, that was bad, but awesome. <laughs> yeah, man, oh. I don't know. The whole taxi and Uber thing really irked me when it was happening. See, it didn't yeah. irk me at all. I was like, this is great. <laughs> like, it was great, but it's just like how, like, they're just so entitled. Yeah. I can't wait for Sarah to become a taxi driver and be like, fuck Drew and his take <laughs> on taxis. Sarah's going to hate me after this. I've never met her and she's never going to want to meet me. <laughs> well, Part now you're never going to meet her because your climbing days are over. Rip. Rip yeah. knee. Your climbing days are over? My knee's fudged. Oh, gosh. I don't even know how. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go take it, get it, get a look. Yeah. Just get a brace. Throw it on. I wear a brace to the gym. It helps me out. She's got a brace on right now. Really? Oh, I can see it through your pants, actually. Yes. <laughs> and those Marner socks I'm a fan of, too. Hey, That's actually Rob's loose. pickup line. What? I can see it through your pants. I can see a knee brace through your pants, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Is that my knee brace? I'm just happy to see you. <laughs> <laughs> the one mutated looking knee. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> All right. Any other Vegas stories? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. So you ate, where'd you, you ate where? Any Wagyu? We Vegas just kept, Wagyu? No, we didn't go to that. Uh, we honestly just ate at the venue almost every day. Okay. Most days, 
this was the uh, one trip where I slept the least. On average, I think I got like five or six hours of sleep a night mm. when normally I get like eight. Well, you're in yeah, Vegas, bro. Yeah. That's how it should be. <laughs> yeah, I'm exhausted. Um, and most nights we were up until like three or four a.m. And then we'd have to go meet like our people at the theater at eight a.m. So we had to wake up at seven thirty, go, and then just go back to the room and conk out for four hours. Why were you up so late? Drinking. Just nice, par- partying, my man. man. Right answer. Where were you drinking at? Did you go? Did you go to that? Like, I'm trying to think of any. We stayed in the casino like almost the entire trip. What casino was it? Uh, Rio. Oh, okay. I'm gonna make it about me for myself and talk about my trip to Vegas. <laughs> okay. Because I stayed in the Mandalay Bay. Oh. Which, by the way, Rob said on stream, he's like, it's the nicest hotel in all of Las Vegas, the it's Mandalay not. Bay. And then everyone in chat came and they're like, no, it's like actually one of the worst rated. He's like, worst. fuck off, guys. It's the best hotel I've ever been to. <laughs> Google it, man. Or like the what are the top like? Uh, the wind Caesar's? Caesar's we went to the caesars caesars is fucking nuts i yeah, did not crazy. realize how big it is yeah. See, those places are literally like a billion dollar buildings yeah like, yeah what does, that's what does a billion dollars look up go to vegas yeah literally. remember that uh convention center in boston mm-hmm. the caesar pass is probably like two or three of those yeah it's what? massive yeah, yeah no it's insane yeah it's crazy it's it, it has like a whole mall in there and then like also the hotel rooms everywhere it's fucking huge yeah when are we going back to boston never ah uh, boston Fuck. I'm in awesome. need of another road trip. Yeah. Roadie? Take us to Montreal. Roadie with the boys. What's after Montreal? Invitationals is in February. <laughs> What's yeah, after but that? is it like during the week? Why do they always do it during the week? No, yeah. it's like no. a Friday, isn't it? Yeah, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, it's, Sunday. It's because yeah. they all play video games, bro. I usually True. go like for Invitationals last year, or this year I went on a Wednesday because oh, we had to record why. on Thursday. Yeah. See, we'll just come down for the weekend. Gang, gang. Any, yeah. any such he'll probably come because it's yeah. Valentine's Day. Oh, 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 it's Valentine's Whoa. Day. <laughs> Valentine's Day in Big Montreal. Big Pharma. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, We've already shit. gone through Big this. Pharma. <laughs> Guys, it can't go. <laughs> <laughs> Big Pharma's got Drew now. <laughs> Does Free care about Valentine's Day? Inviter. Let's go to Vegas, Bree. Yeah. I mean, oh. Montreal. Yeah. Montreal. <laughs> Drew gets on the wrong plane. <laughs> it's Dude. the next best thing. Dude, even, I, the, even the airport in Vegas is pretty trippy, eh? Oh yeah, you get off the plane immediately. It's just it's like a casino. Slot machines everywhere. Yeah. Like, oh, really? What the fuck? That's amazing. They, they, you're like halfway through the flight, they wheel out slot machines <laughs> to you. <laughs> Dude, that place is just designed to make you spend money any way they can. Well, yeah, I was like, it was what midnight when I went, and then I was still wide awake, just looking at everything, being like, oh my god, bright yeah. lights, big Dude, city. I, I saw s- so many fuckers when I was there. <laughs> yeah, really? when my parents were there, they said they'd like they'd hand out they were like baseball cards. But yeah, like, that's another story I want to talk about. Dope. But yeah, basically, apparently they. Uh, Did you get a collection, or <laughs> yeah. we, we, we said no to them? But like, and you go to bed. Just, it's just a bunch <laughs> of uh, it's like baseball cards, but all just naked ladies on there, except for they. <laughs> <laughs> for those who are listening, and he just yelled "what" from the other room. <laughs> um, but anyways, they uh, they're just naked ladies on cards with like their nipples covered because apparently that's censored enough. All right, fair. And it's like Instagram. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Free the nipple. Anyways, um, <laughs> they uh, if they smack the cards together, that means that it's for hookers. But like yeah, on all like, the cards, like it just says game time. They're like, oh, escort. Like, hey, do you want a girl to bring you food to your room or whatever? Eighty dollars. Yeah. Oh, like, there's so escorts and those hookers. That's what the thing that I found. Well, out. they they can't say hookers because it's not legal there. So they're yeah. like, it's escorts, and then they just smack the cards. And if they smack the cards, that means it's a hooker. But yeah. everyone else who hands out cards is just like, oh, it's just advertisement. <laughs> it was funny because we were up, we went out to eat and then we were leaving this it was we went to the hard rock cafe or whatever it's yeah called. i saw that um and we're leaving and then uh like i'm waiting, waiting there with my like, two bosses and some other people that we were there with and these two like ladies walk by dressed like, <laughs> ki- like you know in a way that would make you think that they were like provocative you. yeah provocatively and then they were like to come they come up to me talk, start talking to me they're like touching my arms oh you're such a young handsome man where are you from oh canadian and I'm like just sitting there like shell shocked, right? This so is the awesome. best day ever. And then uh, my my boss walks up and grabs the back of my shirt, pulls me away. He's just like, not tonight, buddy. It's not- <laughs> 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 he's, he's, he's not. He's not on my dime, at least. <laughs> Did you know they were hookers when they were talking? Like, to I you? had a feeling, but I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna talk. They came up to talk to me. They were like, oh, you're so handsome. Like, where are you from? You're not from here. Blah, blah, blah. Boss, that should have been your first clue. <laughs> Rob's buzzing off the confidence. Yeah, he doesn't just, care what it costs at this point. I was just straight buzzing. My boss I was like, yeah, he's not. He's like, I'm not paying for this. And I was just like, okay. Maybe if I worked a little harder, but close enough. They already um, bought you a suit. I don't need to buy you a girl, too. Yeah. 
No, nah, man, I, I wouldn't have to pay for it. She would just fell in love with me. She okay. would have been paying me by the end of the night. Oh. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Isn't that it's a movie fun. like Pretty Woman or something? Well, it's like she doesn't pay him, but they fall in love. Yeah. Yeah, and she's a I think escort. <laughs> she's just an escort. <laughs> that's smacking the cards together. Yeah. <laughs> <I like it. laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the premise of the movie. Nice. How do people like your suit? Oh, they liked it. Yeah. A lot of people were like, oh, you're so fancily dressed. And one guy. The <laughs> Everyone's guy, wearing t-shirts and shorts and Christian <laughs> pulls up in a suit. The one guy who was like setting up our eye trackers while we were there. He's just like, oh, yeah. When I went to my first event, like I wore like a dress shirt or a polo shirt or something. And he's like, Everyone gave me shit for it. He's like, I want to look nice, like yeah. presentable at a show. And he's like, I really respect you for putting on this suit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Aww. Uh, there I you told go. you, man. And I he probably it. just had, he knows this guy and this guy. And now you're done your networking for your life. Exactly. Okay. True. When this when guy put on a suit, hire him. When your channel goes down, you have somewhere to go now. <laughs> exactly, man. You can be a Vegas. Uh, you can be a suit salesman. He'll be in Vegas slapping cards on the street. Yeah. <laughs> I actually talked to a guy. Crush the... me. <laughs> Escort hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm not a hooker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I talked to a guy there at the roulette table who said that one because he was from the area he's like oh my one co-worker her husband is a professional poker, poker player mm-hmm. but like he doesn't go to like the big leagues or anything he just goes to the casinos there he goes there nine to five every day and he just plays against the tourists who are oh. bad at poker so he just takes all their money <laughs> and he's like the guy pulls in like 80k a year american what a legend <laughs> so like, just playing poker at the chino mm-hmm. if you're actually like a professional poker player like you should you should be able to just Dummy. Yeah, just I've actually heard people. I heard from uh, it was probably Reddit, so I don't know how accurate it is, but apparently a lot of them don't like playing against new people because they don't know what they're them. doing. So yeah, they're, yeah, they're just, just like, all oh, donkeys. They're all in. Oh, you have a two and a three, miss suited. It's all like, right. It's like uh, when like you're playing against noobs in a video game, but just like are just doing weird shit and killing you because you're not used to it's it. It's literally see- Christian's complaint with all of Siege players. He's like, what are these silvers doing? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but see, they would know the odds still. Like, I guess you can never see their cards, but they yeah. know the percent breakdown of every single card. The pros, so you would yeah. have you'd know your odds sitting down when you see your cards. There's a fucked amount of math behind poker and shit. I didn't mm-hmm. even like realize. Oh, blackjacks though. Yeah, blackjack. The biggest for it. It's like doing like instant, they're doing like instant analysis for every card that gets put down. Yeah. That'd throw, throw me up or throw me off, I guess. <laughs> it just throws up in the yeah. middle of the game. <laughs> <Like that. laughs> Remember when we played three hours of fucking Red yeah. Dead Redemption? I was, I was, I was going to say, did that like uh, prepare you for Vegas at all? No. I'm pretty uh, sure if I wanted to go play poker, the minimum buy in was like $200. So what did you play? Just blackjack? Blackjack and roulette. Yeah. Poker. I barely know her. Damn. <laughs> Classic. I think blackjack I did a lot better at. <laughs> I I know roulette is a hundred percent a game of chance. Doesn't seem like it though. But I was just like, I feel really good at roulette. I feel like I'm great at this. <laughs> okay. Last time I was at the casino, I had twenty bucks. And I was gonna put it on like I, I was betting it, blah blah blah. I got it up to about twenty five, and then there was a streak where it had landed on red seven times in a row. Oh fuck! So I'm like, this one's gonna be black. <laughs> Ten dollars on it, red. And then, okay, I'm like, I'll sit a couple out, see what happens. We're up to the 11th time. It's still red. Like, the whole bottom of the screen now is red. I was just doing the electronic ones. Yeah. I'm like, <clears throat> what are the, like, the odds of this happening are so slim of it going 11 times in a row. So, I'm like, the 12th time, <laughs> it can't be red. And it was red, and I lost everything. <laughs> it's like when you're doing a I test. I lost it all. It's when you're doing a multiple choice, and it's like, I've picked A for five <laughs> times in a row. Yeah. It can't be A no, again. No, it's different, because, like, for the odd, like, is don't they multiply on each other? Like, it's like 50% yeah, the first like time, that. and then it's it like stacks up. I well, think, but no, because they're not. It's oh, not you're a right. But if you sat down right away <laughs> and like, and I said, okay, what are the odds of it happening 13 times in a row? It's the same as it happening like back and forth or any order, right? No, right, it's not. Because uh, it's like they're independent. It's not based off no, previous was, ones. Yeah. Because it'd be it, like the the one you're thinking of is like imagine if you're trying to draw. Like a deck of cards, you only had two suites though, or like you just went red and black, Mm -hmm. and be like, okay, as you keep putting them out, it eliminates ones from the pool, so like the chances are getting slimmer and slimmer. I don't think so. Whereas roulette is independent of each one. It depends if you're like looking ahead or you're in the moment. No, you're you're, looking ahead because if you're in the moment, it's always if you're looking ahead, they multiply on each other because each one is a different set, and you need each one to happen. I honestly have no idea. I I got lost, but don't you go? So, but it's not based off history. Like Goodwill Hunting. 
<laughs> <laughs> but like it's not based off history right it's like just because there's 10 reds in a row doesn't mean that like the next black is higher chance no, for example, it's still 50 in, in 50 no matter 50, what 50. but sitting down and i and i sit down and i tell you the next 13 <laughs> are gonna be fucking red i still think it should, I think be, it's a, it should be appallingly low though yeah it should be like a, a percent not even that'd be like a yeah. 0.0 something mm-hmm. but uh we but, need statisticians yeah we need, we need poker experts but even if you in. did like say the next two are gonna be red it's not 50%, isn't it? Like, because you need both it, to hit. No, it should be the same because it would be one half that is going to be red and then one half that is going to be black. Well, if it's only black but or it, red, then it's 50%. You'd have 50. to do like red given that the first one was red. Correct. That's what I mean. So then it would, so then it'd have to be red and red over <laughs> red. Either, this is confusing. Someone just, someone just. Either way, if it's, just, if it's red or black, it's 50% each time. That's what I'm it? saying. No, I, uh, I, I remember there's something like. If there's some like. Like they're like anything outside of red or black, you know what I mean. Anything that happens before it wouldn't really affect the fifty-fifty. Mm-hmm. Or am I just sounding like an idiot now? Regardless, yeah, it, it it flipped on like the fourteenth roll. Nonetheless, like, bullshit. Well, That's so like- that actually did happen at our roulette table because we were there and it was like me and Saslin at the roulette table and it was black for ten in a row. It's we're like, bullshit. We're like the next one has to be red. <laughs> so I think Sasan put down twenty on it, lost. And then I put down twenty five, lost. And then um Sky as a pro player comes in, puts down a hundred. He's like it has to be red. Lost. Black again. <laughs> and then no, that put, I think he put down another hundred. Black again. Ooh. And then he's like, okay, I'll be right back. Goes to get uh money from the ATM, gets five hundred and he was gonna put it on red. But someone else had come to the table and bet on it, so they rolled it. And he got there too late, and it ro- rolled a red. <laughs> no. he, he had his 500 in his hand. He's like, just, no. Like that. Shut, up, shut up and take my money. Man. Yeah. That's pretty funny. He just walked away. He's like, I can't. This That's like when I was writing mock exams, trying to practice for um, my test. And I literally, I, I think I did 10 Cs in a row. And in writing the <laughs> test, I'm like, there's no way in hell exactly that this was right and i marked it and i got every single one of them right i just stuck with my guns i'm like i think it's c man Something i like right. i don't know when in doubt the best is when Pick teachers c. used to troll doing that yeah, yeah. Like, like a b c d e like so i've had teachers that do that I, there was one that's like i remember it should have been something i had the word like study in it somehow <laughs> it, it was our math teacher I remember him went oh that yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know that's uh that's who i would be yeah that's i great. would just fuck with my students so hard just well, literally yeah. a full test. It's like, like ten A's a B, ten A's yeah, a literally. C, ten A's a B. It's like my buddy's Wi-Fi password is literally nine A's and a B. <laughs> who, uh, who is it? But I'm just wondering. <laughs> That's literally his Wi-Fi password. It's Rob's gonna bring his computer over and just play outside his house. <laughs> no, dude, I can't go on Rob's the internet just, on my computer. Rob's just like creeping through the neighborhood, like nine A's, trying and, to a find B, nine A's and a B. <laughs> Wait, you can't go on the. And no, your... so I can use my computer just fine. But as soon as I open up like and a web browser, that's when I get all these Norton messages just f- piling in, saying like <laughs> your computer is doing this and you that. You got the Norton virus. <laughs> Uninstall Norton. Norton is a virus. Well, it says it, it keeps saying it's blocking malicious attacks. From, your mom's from gonna get so upset when you uninstall it. I know. Yesterday she went out and unplugged it because she thought it was making the Wi-Fi slow. I'm like, Mom, my computer's <laughs> not turned on right now. Like, how would this possibly affect the Wi-Fi? It's hard to explain it to people who just don't understand technology. Boomers, man. It, yeah. Like, there, yeah. Or it's just like... <laughs> or Shane. Yeah, okay. I just connected my internet the other day because it was slow. <laughs> well, that, man, that can no, work. I, know but... <laughs> I, was, I was looking into getting more RAM for my PC. And I'm like, Shane, like, for <laughs> RAM, you literally just plug it in the motherboard, right? Uh, He's like... like I don't know. Ask Christian. No, I said, <laughs> I, said I don't know. Talk to the boss. Yeah. Talk to the boss. Drew's like... Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, that's literally all you do. It's like, but like, doesn't have to be compatible with your motherboard. Yeah, yeah. You Which, probably have, you probably have DDR3, um, so you'd need to get so DDR3 me, RAM. So me and Christian, we upgraded my computer, put a whole new like <laughs> motherboard, had everything ready. What else did we do? Like, it, was, it was CPU, but like, so I was like, okay, you need to get the CPU, but you need a new motherboard for it. He's like, yeah. oh, fuck, fine. So, it, <laughs> so we installed the motherboard, put the CPU in, plug in everything. And as we're trying to put the RAM in, we realized. It doesn't fucking fit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so they had to go get new RAM. But they were close. So I had to wait like two, three days. Oh, and then, no. Uh, it was awful. So like, it was literally just a CPU upgrade would turn into like half your computer being upgraded. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, but I could probably just open it up and look at on the RAM itself. Probably. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, if you just like go to your PC, it'll be like, oh, it's DDR3. You order that. Got any RAM kicking around here? In that computer, but I'm going to be using it for the uh Do I have my old RAM, RAM still? Would he have my old? 
No, mine's probably the same thing you have. Mm, your computer's like kind of old. I think it's on a bag on my fucking shelf. I'll look at it home. <laughs> Sweet. I think that would improve my life a lot. My thing with uh, tech in that case, is you're like, not getting it. I have eight. I have eight gigs. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's depressing. I have. I have eight too. Man, even like an extra. No, you. I, then I asked him how much RAM he has. He's like, oh no. I was like four. <laughs> four. <laughs> he told me four. I'm like, there's no way like you he, have he four. He counts gigs four sticks. He's like, I got four gigs of RAM. You definitely have sixteen. No, I know. That's what he said. <laughs> I think I have sixty-four or thirty-two. Mm-hmm. How much but you got like, in that bad boy? You don't need 16. all sixteen. Oh no! Oh, you need all. Maybe those. thirty-two. Oh, you don't Jeez. need all those. Oh. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> say my thing flex. with tech is like I think I know what I'm doing, but I need someone to confirm it for me. You know what I mean? It's like, I, that's very accurate with me. Yeah, it's like it's like okay, that's what I. Someone does it for me. Okay, that's what I would have done, but I, at the moment, it's like if I do this, I'm gonna so, blow up my computer. Question: Why don't you just go get the RAM now? This is expensive. Dude, he's like, I'm waiting for Christmas. Like, what's the difference between now and Christmas? Like, Boxing Day goes now, on you... sale. Boxing Day will have a sale. Does it? Yeah. Okay. I was so it, it'll be It'll be like 20 bucks off. So not much. But 20 bucks is 20 bucks. <laughs> 20 bucks <laughs> is 20 bucks. Hey. That's a good motto. Escort's an escort. <laughs> <laughs> an escort's an escort. <laughs> I was going to buy more RAM. But I thought like... that was going somewhere else. <laughs> no. Do you even use all 64 now? I'm pretty sure it's 32. It must be. Well, just look. I don't, it doesn't have anything on it. How do you know if Literally it's being used PC or not? PC info, task manager, all of those will tell you. I do have a PC command in my chat. You Wait, actually? Now. Yeah, I can just look at my PC. <laughs> hey, the... Twitch, you get some interaction for once. <laughs> Sadiq. <laughs> <laughs> there was one person, first time mm-hmm. I'll ever address someone in chat during the podcast, who was saying that uh, I was right for the roulette odds, that they're independent of one another, so you're not stacking the odds each time. Yeah. Um, I have. Doesn't it depends how you phrase the question. Yeah, that's if thirty-two I say, gigs. That, that's 32? not what I thought we were talking about before. If I say, the odds like, thing. what are the odds that I win the next? The next thirteen in a row are red, not like one after another. It'd be like fifty-fifty, like each time, right? It'd be the whole thing would be fifty percent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it's not like the, the odds do change a little bit, but it's not. It doesn't become like zero point one percent or something. Because the it one before it was red or something. Well, yeah, because it doesn't. One half to the power of thirteen at the very least, so it would be abysmally small. But it Googling, wouldn't though. What are the odds of one in one thousand three hundred and seventy-six? What would you Google? What are the odds of getting ten straight reds in roulette? <laughs> <laughs> There's probably been some guy just sitting in the corner of the casino just typing no, that in. Google never lies. Come on. <laughs> I but that doesn't make. I, I understand where you're coming from because that's like basic stats. But it just doesn't make sense to me because they're independent of one another. Yeah, but it's back to back. Like, it, well, like that's what I was saying. One's looking into the future, and one's like, "What's the odds of the next one being red? What's the odds of the next one you being need, red?" You need, yeah, you need every single one to be right. Do you know like, what I mean? Every oh time yeah, you because roll, like the end goal isn't just one being red; it's all, it's thir- all of them. You need all every thirteen single one being red. Yeah. Stacking every time you roll, it's going to be fifty fifty. But if you're also, like looking into the future, I forgot it's not fifty fifty. Yeah, it's, it's like, like 49, 49, yeah, it's too. It's like 18 out of 37 oh, 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 of the that's things. that's a game changer. It's not even close <laughs> yeah, to yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, that ruins everything. <laughs> we, we, we need, we need it actually a pen does, and paper. though. Yeah. We need a pen and paper. I was getting caught up on the one over two. No, because but... I think it's, what, 37 things on a roulette? And 18 of them are red, 18 are black? Sure. Is that math right? Um, yeah, 18 Wait, red, 18, 18 black, 2 green. Yeah. How much if it lands okay. on green? Yeah. <laughs> what? What happens if it lands on green? <laughs> It's just it's like there's so, like zeros. I'm so really... there's zero and double zero. And if it lands on either one of those, you only win if you bet on the zeros. I'm Which really happy nuts. that you yeah. guys added in the uh, two of them are green because I thought Shane was just like trolling. With his no, 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 no. <laughs> that's, that's actually legit. No. And there's actually like, there's 37 and there's 18 red, 18 black. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <man. laughs> that adds up. There's a uh, there's also roulette tables that are just they only have one green. It's like. The lower end so ones, thirty-seven. Yeah, though. but most of them have most <laughs> have two you're greens. Used to a shame. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Thanks, Niagara Falls. <laughs> yeah. When we were, uh, or yeah, when so we were you're leaving, the nice ones just like squeak another green in there. Well, the higher end ones because it lowers the odds for them or for people. Why do I feel like that should be opposite? It's well because like the people who don't. Or want better odds. So and the want, thing is, like is, smaller chances of losing. When, when you're betting, you have like your board, and you can go like you can do 
evens and odds, you can do like zeros don't count any of that, dude. Yeah, zeros like, are their own independent. You can do like a virtual snake, roulette can... or like legitimate Legit roulette. Legit roulette. That's oh. sick. I would but just when... go to the machine that has the big thing <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> Not the machine, but it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a robot doing it. I don't know people. why. I don't like, trust you that can as all, much. You can all I still go it. around. Yeah, exactly. It played me too. Thirteen or thirteen reds. In theory, it should be the same, but I feel like I know, like you know, it's like there's an odd that there's a slight malfunction in the roulette thing, and it just like chips over the one you don't want. It's also the thing with like when <laughs> it's a purpose. person, yeah. they have to throw the ball themselves, like spin it. Which, uh, so no, there's, it's like it's like Hot Wheels. It gets sped up. Also... No, it doesn't. I thought it did as well. But uh, no, they like so. There's that random factor of just like maybe they didn't put enough strength you say this it's like time. Hot Wheels. Well, that's why every single time they spin it, it does like thirty <laughs> laps, and yeah. then he he stops the table. You have time, like you can gauge the spin, put random last minute bets down. Oh, that reminds me of another story. There was a guy getting fucking pissed off at the roulette table because this guy would uh throw, hashtag gambling like <laughs> do you guys know uh about betting inside the board on roulette no so um, like it's what shane was talking about so you can do like odds evens uh like do columns or it usually cost more money though well, yeah, yeah you like can as do, a minimum but then, sorry but then you get better or like better so 50 50 odds. or one in three yeah in. um so that's betting outside the board and there's betting inside the board which is literally all the numbers and you can put it on a number and if you win it's like one or 35 to one so you bet one dollar you get 35 back oh, that's so bad. Mm -hmm. um and then you can do like on <laughs> those are good odds and you can go in between <laughs> uh numbers and it's like 18 to one so you get 18 bucks back but you could bet on two numbers mm -hmm. yeah. and you can do corners which is four numbers and just like mm -hmm. keeps decreasing the odds but this guy was putting down like one on almost every single spot classic except for a few and then when the ball was like slowing down he would quickly start putting some down at the last second and then they have to wave over the table being like no more bets and he would still keep putting stuff down after as the ball is almost about to land in a hole oh. and the guy's like you have to stop betting and the guy who was betting was freaking out being like how am i supposed to make money and bet here if you won't let me bet and he was like talking to <laughs> the oh, supervisor he played by the rules it. you he fucking asshole no he, he like he was a regular Oh. But he was pissed. He was asking for the manager, being like, "This guy's like trying to scam me of money. He those, won't let me bet." Those are the Man, types of dudes gambling. that get. Yeah. Those are the types of dudes that get kicked real quick. Yeah, yeah. Um, they they definitely get taken down to the garage. <laughs> to yeah. the garage. Hundred percent. To the same garage. They get Christian the brown bag and everything. So crazy walking in casinos though. How many cameras there are? Yeah. Oh, they, they you like every single move. And there's, and there's no clocks anywhere too, which threw me yeah. off. They know. They just know everything. You're yeah. taking a piss. They got five different <laughs> angles on There's one underneath your balls. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, hey, little speaker, I see you have a UTI. <laughs> <laughs> they come out with their, their year-end report and gives average like dick size yeah. <laughs> and the male wash them on the first floor. That's, like, that's where Google gets all its stats from. Yeah. As you go up floors in the hotel, the dick size gets smaller and smaller. <laughs> <laughs> what which floor did you stay on? The top floor by any chance? <laughs> it was so we all upgraded, or most of us upgraded our rooms, but they were all on like the 39th, 40th floor. I was on the ninth floor and I got an upgrade. Oh, that's room. good news though. That's yeah, cool. bigger dick size. Yeah, just, yeah, just, just swinging that hog around. That's nothing, man. <laughs> they Yo, do. I was first class. I didn't get first class. Oh, I was so no. fucking pissed off because I was like, okay, this is the one time where I don't mind spending like 400 bucks to get business class back because I was flying overnight. I wanted to be comfortable and sleep. But Ubisoft booked our flight through United. But the flight was from Air Canada. That's such a mess. But it was also uh, not Air Canada. It was Rouge, which is like an Air Canada yeah. subsidiary. Yeah. Discount. So oh, then, man, an yeah. Air Canada so, first class on the small planes isn't even like first class. It's, it's just like, like it's a like normal like, class on any other yeah, plane. Yeah, you get like an extra foot of leg room. And there's a curtain that separates <laughs> yeah. you from the plebs. And it doesn't, but, and it doesn't smell like shit. That's, that's the only <laughs> thing. Really. Yeah, they Windex in between. <laughs> and you get two bags of cookies. Ooh, Ooh that would actually be pretty stellar. <laughs> but yeah, I was pissed because I went to the United because it's booked through United. I tried to check in. They're like, no, you can't check in here. You got to go to Canada or Air Canada. I go to Canada. <laughs> I, I go there. I'm trying. And they're yeah, just like, do, lady. they're like, no, like we can't upgrade you. We can check you in, but we can't upgrade you because you got booked through United. Like you have to go to United to ask to upgrade. I was like I can't. They won't let me because it's not their plane. And then like, oh, go in the machine. Then it'll tell you. I go to machine. There's not even an option for it. Oh, so yes. they keep sending me back and forth. Eventually, I go back to United. And they're like, oh, okay, we can upgrade to first class. It'll be $1,600. <laughs> I was like, what? And they're like, yeah, you have to buy a whole new ticket. 
why the fuck was that an I... upgrade that's yeah. not an upgrade it's a downgrade and then i was like no like, I... and you have to remortgage your house <laughs> yeah. and like... you have to just like stay here and work for us for about a week and then uh... <laughs> but yeah i didn't end up doing it i was pissed because i it was I, from what i looked up online it was like 200 to 400 dollars yeah, for an upgrade that's, that's like, a ripple if i'm flying four hours overnight i'd rather just sleep in a comfortable chair than not on the um on the flights i took there's like premium seats as well mm -hmm. but like when you go you're going through the selections and it shows like your seats in the bottom right and it says change if you change them then you can pick on all the open seats i bet you it was there no it wasn't i could only go up to the <laughs> oh you probably couldn't even get in the premium area no I, I... <laughs> it just doesn't let you <laughs> it like, would only go <laughs> <laughs> it would only Check go up to like the privilege, please. <laughs> It only go up to the ones where it's like, oh, $60 and you get like a ah, tiny bit yeah, more yeah. leg room. Although it was nice because I complained saying I couldn't upgrade to first class. So she upgraded me to one of those, I guess, for free. I don't know if she was supposed to charge me, but she just let me through. Oh, and then nice. um, there was no one sitting next to me. And on the flight oh, there, I also huge. I had six seats around me, all empty. So you were in they first class, class then. So you were in first that's class, huge. theoretically. No, yeah. that's huge. Yeah. Not having someone next to you. I just passed out on the way back this is the first time i've ever slept on a flight i was just gonna say and I, I think i fell asleep plane. before takeoff which has never happened before it didn't what, wake me up how are you gonna know when you crash what you to do <laughs> please don't wake me up that would be a blessing <laughs> <laughs> just open your eyes you're just dead just oh let's go <laughs> <laughs> when you guys fly do you get like anxiety as you're about to land not until you see that landing yeah, strip no, i do i always do every time i'm like we're about to crash. We're about to crash. Oh no, we're landing. No, we're for good. me, it's in my head. I'm just thinking, like, fuck. I'm gonna be that one plane in the in the year that's gonna get destroyed. <laughs> the whole time, I'm thinking, like, I want all those plane crash videos. I'm like, ah, this is that's sick. whatever. Man, please, I feel like, please. <laughs> I feel like it's takeoff that gets you. Yeah, that's take when up, everything goes wrong. Fine. Not it's, offset. No, for me, it's landing. Yeah. It's just like, yeah. yeah. I mean, but but I feel like statistically, on take, there's more crashes on takeoff. It's not true. It's like, it's like the first ten minutes of the flight. Yeah. It's yeah. like when you get up and when everything you starts and then it's like <laughs> yeah and then a bird flies into the turbine the best is like you know like this shows on discovery i'm talking about where the yeah planes, mayday and there's shit. one uh, yeah mayday there's yeah. one on toronto really yeah it's Fuck literally that. it's like freezing cold and the 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 runways all froze over and the plane just landed and slid <laughs> right off the runway into all the trees oh and fuck. um everybody was running off the plane onto the 401 and people were just picking them up that's fucked welcome to canada yeah exactly oh, I, think I saw that actually <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's All right. sick but messed up i was a hundred percent wrong uh it's 16 percent most fatal crashes 16 percent are takeoff and 29 percent are landing what's the other 50 uh, i don't flying? know flying like, like, getting shot out of the air by russian missiles yeah. <laughs> <probably. laughs> oh, I wonder, disappearing forever <laughs> did you ever hear about like how awful that actually was not just because random people died but the because... russian missiles yeah that... just because random people yeah, died <laughs> no. so that's so desensitized Genghis Khan over here no. that plane that like got shot over russia it was just a commercial flight apparently that had some of the world's leading scientists on aids research really so the world lost like 20 years of aids research progress you mean putin did aids no. Well, that's fucked. Yeah, big, so big pharma. Big yeah, pharma. Oh, oh, God. Was it on Valentine's Day? Oh. <laughs> oh. That was a fuck story to hear, though. It was. It, it is really messed when, up. When, like, hey, a commercial plane full of normal people just got shot down by five missiles from Russia. That's why I'm never flying over Russia. It's like, why? Although my flight to Japan, apparently we flew over the Arctic. That's did not, sick. Did not know that, like, you do that. I thought it's they like would a shortcut, fly. isn't it? But, like, I, I figured <laughs> it was so cold. It is a shortcut. Yeah, it is, technically. Which also baffled me because Coconut flew from Hawaii to Japan. And so I fly from Toronto to Japan. How long do you think it took Coconut to land to land in Couple Japan? A couple hours. Set four. Like five hours. His flight was, I think, nine hours. Mine was 11. Oh. Wait, what? Does, does yeah. he pass, like, the date line? Yeah, we all do. Is it, oh, that's not factoring. And that was, like, no. a legit nine Like, hours. nine hours of travel time. Oh, I didn't know that. Because I thought it was a lot closer. You did the honestly. Antarctic oh. so shortcut. You look yeah, at he the, didn't take the shortcut. You look <laughs> at the map and you're like, this makes no sense. Hawaii looks like it's so close. But it's because, yeah, when you go over the Arctic, you cut so much time off. As well as, I guess, when you're flying from, like, the middle of the world to the side, it's the distance is actually, it, it's longer than it looks yeah, on the map. It's flat. Where it, yeah, basically. Or maybe the plane driver was just trying to run up your tile like most taxi drivers do. <laughs> <laughs> he does a lap around the north pole <laughs> and slingshots down he's like yo yo I know a shortcut I know, I know a shortcut, a shortcut. <laughs> I was like, buddy you're flying a fucking airplane right now <laughs> fucking slingshots around the north pole <laughs> you look out you just see Mars <laughs> what hey, the okay. hell? just in outer space <laughs> yeah
That'd be pretty fucked. Elon Tesla. Elon he Tesla stops in like Elon Florida Tesla. to pick up a ride share. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. The taxi drivers come yeah. out, start smashing the plane. Yeah. What I didn't understand is on the way down to Dominican, we we landed thirty minutes early because we got favorable winds. Yeah, and then on the way it's back, pog. we landed it's a pog. twenty minutes early because we got favorable winds. That's How sick! How? So the flight back. How? <laughs> lucky, lucky. Go it's, to the Chino. In almost Go every. Chino. In almost every case of flying, like one way back will be usually an hour shorter. Yeah, but like, how is it both? Well, it depends. Uh, so you, you, south, through, you went through a black hole, Shane. <laughs> Maybe. If you, if you, go, <laughs> you went through the Antarctica. It felt like I did. I slept the whole if time. If you go east-west, one of them's always an hour longer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got that north-south wind, baby. You got you, you got a tropical hurricane to push you up back up here. True. A tropical hurricane. Yeah. <laughs> Some jet That's trees. how you just think shot. You go through the hurricane. <laughs> you yeah. just fly right into <laughs> the hurricane. And just... Sometimes you go a little too far to the right, but you know, you correct it. <laughs> That's where the pilot skill comes in. Just yeah. <laughs> turns the steering wheel once. <laughs> Computers. <laughs> Leave it all to the AI. Protect yourself. Do you but... imagine? It's like, this is the first time we're going to use AI on a flight. And it's like, we're going to let it take full control. <laughs> and it's just going, it just cuts to the fir- like the hurricane and just slingshots out <laughs> everyone on the plane. It's like the, the most, like, whatever it's called, turbulence, turbulence they've ever <laughs> <Yeah>. felt. <laughs> but you get there an hour shorter. <laughs> Worth. If I you wonder... had to go to Japan and like, what it was, what was your flight? 11 hours? I think there, yeah, it was 11 hours back. It was And 10. you could cut like five hours off that. But like the five hours you're in the air were all turbulence the whole time. Not worth it. And you had a percent chance of dying. No. One hundred. <laughs> <laughs> You'll land there, but you're going to be dead. Your, your corpse will arrive. No. Not even 1% would be what worth it. What if it was like it cut down to a two hour flight and it was just all turbulence? Like how far, how low does this flight <laughs> you're have shaking to get? The entire I like, no, like it, it wouldn't be worth like it. Like it's a no. wooden roller coaster the whole way there, but no, you get there two no. hours earlier. I'm sure you would get accustomed to it, but it would not be worth it to like, yeah. I, I hate throwing up. Throwing up is would... like the last thing I ever want to do. <laughs> just don't throw up. Yeah, what? Easy. <laughs> two hours of Japan, just straight turbulence. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> Would you, uh, I think I would do it for sure. Like, well, if, but they, you throw up once, well, then yeah, what? There's that's nothing one, left. That's one less free movie you get to watch. You also that's like five less free movies. What are you talking about? I get two extra, hours. I get no, extra good hours. Movies you watching? The flight. The flight there would be <laughs> two hours as opposed to eleven hours. Yeah. Oh, so turbulent. Oh, all, all <laughs> exactly. way. No, so nine hours. <laughs> the reason why I say no is because so planes have a really bad problem with filtering out smells so if someone has a really stinky fart on a plane it stays there and it man. stays pungent so imagine everyone puking on a plane that would be just, just open your window man man like <laughs> not even not even hating whatsoever but my mom said when she flew to india for work like she could tell when they got into india just from up in the air what because it smells like that's like hamilton something. here yeah it's like hamilton, <laughs> like yeah. hamilton. Bro, you, hamilton. i would never say anything like this man you guys are are bigots bro what? For Hamilton? Sorry, yeah. sorry Burlington. Yeah, yeah Burlington true. Maybe. <laughs> the armpit. The Burlington armpit. does play like shit. The armpit of Ontario. Except for the lakefront. So wait, so you wouldn't do it? Would you do it? Two hours of turbulence instead of an allowed Like if I, if I had to go somewhere, like probably I would just like try to ride it out because I am yeah. I'm, I'm a big like I hate just time spent traveling. Exactly. So like. I don't know, like, it depends how turbulent we're talking. Like, if I can barely fucking sit still because my entire body's being jerked around, then, like, <laughs> yeah. I would, like, get to Japan two hours later. That's sick. I wouldn't be worried. It would depend. It depends on how, how much turbulence. Like, you're saying right people now. are being fucking tossed <laughs> no, no, around. No, no, no. The seatbelt light never comes off, though. Yeah, like, you can't go pee. Yeah. But, like, if, if you're just sitting just there, would you be, like, you. Uh, yeah. shaking violently? You, so, like, you, pee and you gotta put a lid on your ginger ale. There's a constant rattle, maybe every 10, 15, it's like... Like you're shaking so hard, your your pee yeah. just diffuses out of your body. Yeah, and you don't even have to go to the bathroom anymore. Yeah. It's just no. like a it's mist. Just, <laughs> like uh, there's a fog uh, in the cabin. It's just like mess. not hard enough to injure, but hard enough that the baby doesn't stop crying. That's a normal. Oh, that's flight. so true. Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather fly on a flight full of screaming babies? That's only one hour versus your normal eleven hour flight. I'd rather yeah, do, I'd do the one hour. Dude, actually, that's too easy. Three hours of. Sh- Screaming sure, babies. I, I would, yeah, I would say no. The, like, like what's going through your earphones? And everything. <laughs> Man, on my way to uh, Comox this summer. I don't even know some, what that is. To where? Uh, Vancouver Island. Okay. Oh, um, yeah. BC <laughs> his his weekly trip to BC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was there was, someone had a dog like this little tiny dog, 
and uh, I guess they let it go, and it, all you see is this dog come <laughs> running up the aisle, <laughs> and then you see the flight attendant come back holding it with just a wet spot on her shirt. Oh, like this poor gosh. thing had to chase this dog that should have been in a cage, and then got peed on by it. That Imagine sucks. that the dog just explodes because the because the pressure, <laughs> and the owner didn't give a shit. They he's didn't pr- care. He's probably he's like, this, eh, this thing dies, man. Like, yeah. See, this is my girlfriend's dog. Please let it die before we land. <laughs> uh when i was in the casino the first night no. i go to gamble um i i went to the roulette you table because there was there was only one that was 15 dollars. the rest <laughs> were all like 25 50 yeah and so i went to the 15 dollar table and there was only one free spot so i'm trying to go sit and then the custodians are like they don't really speak english so they were like no 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 no, no. and i was like was like is it taken and they're like they didn't understand so like no no no, no. so i'm like okay so I tried to sit down, and then one of the dealers from the other table starts like yelling at me. He's like, "Yo, yo, yo, like move!" I was like, what happened? And he's like, "Look behind you!" And it was just puke <laughs> right behind the seat, all over the floor. And it, I noticed that when I walked up to the table, there was a lady walking away who was like really groggy. Someone was trying to hold her, and I thought it was just someone being drunk. But apparently, she just puked everywhere there, and I hadn't even noticed. Christian just runs his finger along. That's it how and, like, drunk he was. <laughs> yeah, and then like That's Roy gross. comes up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man, that was hammered. Roy comes up with no shirt on and slides right through like a slip and slide. (laughs) Just comes up covered in chocolate. Well, putting a hundred on black. (laughs) Yeah, tosses a hundred dollar chip on black. (laughs) He slides with a chip in his hand. (laughs) Oh, speaking of chips. Okay, so you guys have been to casinos, right? All of you? Yeah. Salt and vinegar? What? Chip, I get it. Oh. Um, So, is it... I don't know if you guys ever had this happen, but after a while, you get desensitized to how much money those chips are worth. Like you're holding yeah. on to them, and you're just like, "Oh, it's whatever." And they're oh, the chips. Like, oh. Yeah, I was. I'm, I hate talking to people, so I just go to the again the the one the, that's the like kind of live but not live. Yeah, but that's how they get you. Why yeah. else? Why else would they use chips? I've never gambled at a casino. I've been to them, but never gambled. I wasn't allowed to on my work trip, and then the one. Where I go to school was just Again, too we all need sketchy. to make just one a Niagara Fall trip. I 100% want to do 20 that. Let's go tomorrow. And he said JK, that I'm okay, not tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> oh, you're going to a, you're closer. To a You'd game. be closer. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll meet you there. Dumbass. After. Yeah, like you would literally be closer to. <laughs> you want to go after? Down. You'd shave like an hour off. We could also <laughs> just go to like one of the many casinos in between here no, and where it's Drew's either, going. It's either there or nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta go to Falls View, man. Never seen those commercials. There's, it's Falls View. Actually, I love it. It's so nice. You just crack your shoulder. No. Oh, you did. You walk out of the casino with your. Never mind. Do you heard that shoulder? You guys crack? not yeah, watch commercials. I seen. I've seen the one where the old man's like, I watched that statue from Falls View, honey. And oh yeah, outside. that one's funny. I, just, <laughs> I lost my statue. kidney to this casino. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I'm just too scared to gamble. That's I, why you I go in sports, like twenty bucks. But... Done. Yeah, it's like it's like if you go to the movie, you know you're gonna spend twenty bucks. You just go with the same mindset, and you like don't Have bring anything else, and you're fine. For us, and then you don't just put it all on red, because then if you lose, you're like, all right, well, I'm yeah, you, you gotta do like minimum bets and let it ride for a while. But I mean, I, a couple quarter bets till you get a nice little ninety dollar jackpot, and then you just have fun. <laughs> I uh, I felt bad for Priest on this trip because. He just wanted to like relax and chill, but everyone's like, let's go to the like gamble, gamble. He's like, fine, I'll join you guys. He takes out $200, loses it within like 20 minutes. <laughs> and then he's like, fuck this, like, fuck gambling. I don't want to do this shit. And on the last night, he's like, whatever, might as well do it again. Takes out 200, lost it again. Oh. And since he's a $10 fee every time he takes out money, um, he, what? Yeah, at the casino, it's a $10, yeah, $10 fee. $10 fee. So he, he lost <gasps> like $440 in two nights. $10? Oof. Yeah. Imagine how much money, like, that's like a top level exec makes off a casino oh. owning it fucking absurd there was like a a guy I used to work with his like his brother was like really high up in marketing and they're talking about how like if there's certain people like so that you have like the casino floor and then they have like a back room at least at niagara where it's like high rollers and um i assume vegas like there's probably tons of those people hidden off to the side somewhere then he's like if you get this a certain group of people like, if you get the right people at that table they outmake what the sales floor makes. Oh my gosh. And like think of that. Like that's there's probably like whole casinos in Vegas that are like that. We're like Oh yeah. Like a 100%. like a back like underground well yeah. not underground, but yeah. Like theoretically underground. High rollers, yeah. yeah. Man, try Vancouver. No. Vancouver? What? You're trying to compare <laughs> Vegas to Vancouver. <laughs> no. Dude, they both start with like... V, bro. What are you talking oh, about? Fuck. <laughs> oh, and fuck, he's it's V A, it's better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drew's just from fucking shaking his head. He's like, fuck this. 
It's okay, Drew. Continue your thought. No, he that's fine. It. There's yeah, lots of money cool. in Vancouver. That was my only point. He had a ro- we put a roadblock in front of him. So yeah. Roblox? I feel Roblox. like there's more in Vegas than Vancouver. Really? I bet the, Obviously. I bet, I bet the nightlife, that wasn't my point. I bet the nightlife in it's Vegas is just point. a little Thank better you. than Vancouver. Yeah. Like in Vancouver, you can see, go see a Canucks game. I guess no, I guess no, no. they have a goal. You know, there, oh, did you see the There's a hockey? UFC fight. Yeah, and, the one or I don't follow UFC, but did you see the Vegas Golden Knights Arena, T-Mobile Arena? No, I didn't see it. It's not right on. Why is on the main? It's, it's kind of on the strip the side. It's, it's like, like a street over. We yeah. walked down the main strip, but like we didn't split off of it at all. And this is kind of a somber. You didn't question. go to a hockey game? No. Kind of a somber yeah. question, but did anyone mention the occurrence that happened there? The Mandalay thing? Yeah. No. It was like a taboo when I went there. No one talked about it. You went there like a week after it happened. I stayed in the same fucking place, bro. (laughs) Rob, you went there the next day. shit. Literally three days after. No shit. I just remember like... Why won't anyone talk about this? I wonder. (laughs) Like, I remember trying to... I was just asking the security guards. I was like... I forget exactly what I said, but I just kind of said like... You're a fucking idiot. I was just kind of like... Man, it's like, I was gonna kind of say, "Oh, it's really fucked up," eh? and he's just like, "Yeah, it's pretty fucked up." <laughs> this guy's like, Whoa, "This guy's got is. this guy's got his arm wrapped up from when he got." Just like, "What? What do you like, want me to say, man?" Rob, you're a fucking idiot. To but then, say but then security. he was. Like, but then he was like, "Oh, this is probably the safest place on earth right now, though." And I was Aww. like, "Yeah." But like you, you also have to remember this guy probably was in that situation and having to deal with that, and you're trying to be like, oh, "Hey, just, man, that was pretty fucked up, it was right?" His, it was his day off. Come on. I was just asking him, man. <laughs> And then, and then he's like, he's, he's, like, he's, like, he's like, you're, he's like, you're not from here, are you? I was like, nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> Dude, oh, I guess you don't, you don't, you don't really have a Canadian accent to say. Because when I was there, everyone was like, "Are you from Canada?" Yeah, no one I asked. Me. And I had a big black eye when I was there too, so I probably didn't help he's my case. He's in a little hockey tilly. Literally. I had a uh, one guy comment on me though at the roulette table. There is this couple, um, like a fifty-year-old Hispanic guy and like forty-year-old Hispanic woman. They, apparently they just got married that night. Not that it matters. <laughs> I'm Hispanic, so I can say that. Make, yeah. Dude, just make it, no, but like, just make it about race. They, they were talking it. about, or they were speaking Spanish a bunch, and they were talking really loudly. And then the guy, too loudly apparently. Every single time he did anything, even if he lost, he was like screaming. He'd be like, <laughs> "We're 23," like screaming at the top of his lungs. Casa de mama. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I was just Italian. betting. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> I was just. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Anyways, I was just betting on the columns, and I won like five in a row. Hey, off the table. Yeah, off the table columns. And then uh, the guy just like looks at me. He's like, hey, look at this fucker. He's like, he's really quiet, but he's really good at the game. Because <laughs> like every time I won, I was like, okay. Like, I, I had no reaction. Yeah. So it's just like, this guy's so good. <laughs> Christian knew he was going to lose it two minutes later. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I felt bad because when we were at the blackjack table with five of us, everyone's freaking out every time anyone gets like blackjack. I'm like. Yay. Yeah, I did, it. <laughs> I did it. I would not be able to keep my cool if I won a shit ton of money. Grand slam over the g- green wall. <laughs> cool. Oh yeah, no difference. Green monster. Yeah. yeah have we told that story on the, on yeah. the pod? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Zero reaction to a grand slam in a baseball game. If I have, if I have a bigger reaction, to like taking a big shit in the morning. <laughs> oh, that would be pretty nice. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't taken a normal shit in like a week, bro. I got cut, cut up my dairy. <laughs> Oof. I just keep shitting out like relish style shits, bro. Oh, like, dude. It's rough. What's wrong with you? Yo, by the way, are you single? <laughs> by the way, that lady, if you're still around. That 40 year old Spanish lady. That, that marriage isn't going to last if you're still around. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, it's funny. I, a side note again. <laughs> I haven't started my Christmas shopping yet. <laughs> what? I, mean, I, I haven't either. I'll do it like Friday. I actually, I bought uh, Annie's Christmas gift. It's what right there. I can't what say because she's in the other room and she'll hear it. Oh, Rob, toss. Right here? Yeah, don't say what it is, okay. but you can look at it. Is it going to bite me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's a puppy. Did it just talk? <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's uh. I'm kidding. You guys wow. want to see it? Yeah, get should, it I, should, should I rustle the bag into no, the mic a little bit? Oh my god! But yeah, I bought Annie's gift while we were in Vegas, and uh, it looks pretty cool. Actually, I, I think it'll be a good one. I'll talk about it in two we weeks it when we give it. Are you yeah. gonna give her the bag too? I think seems the bag's like the coolest a, part. Seems like a good woman gift. Yeah. yeah. Like if I got that, I'd fucking throw it out. But <laughs> and then the other gift will be <laughs> the other gift will be the uh, gym membership for the. Rock climbing gym. You're getting nice. your girlfriend. Peloton? A, you're getting your girlfriend a gym membership for Christmas? <laughs> yeah. Yikes. 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 No, she, she wants the, the no, other I'm, membership. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But Oof. 
It just it's just you know it's that cliche, you know. They put up rates, new rates, uh, and they put up the rates for the dual. Ooh. So like for a single, it's like what was it five something five sixty five without our discount. Yeah. And then for dual, it's like six seven sixty. Oh, I thought it was like six seven. That's not too bad. Um, Either way, pretty fucking did, expensive. Like, did you guys see the Peloton for a year though? The one. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Yeah, the the Ryan Reynolds thing, yeah. right? Well, the the one leading up to it. Yeah. But. So the, the first commercial is like, what is so, it? Like a guy so, gets yeah. You, so you Peloton is like this, uh, you know, like spin classes. Yeah. It's it's basically a spin class where you buy the bike and you put it in your home, it. and then it has a tablet, and then you pay like a subscription to like just do the spin classes from home. Mm-hmm. And the whole thing is like this girl. It's like, hey, honey, like I really want a Peloton bike for Christmas. Like, please. So he gets to the Peloton bike. She's all pumped up. She like video diaries like her whole year with it. She's like, wow, it changed my life. This like, is a commercial? Yep. Yeah. Wow. And she's like, I'm so happy. And everyone online is like, wow, this misogynistic asshole. He, like he probably beats fuck her and Peloton. all this stuff. Like, Why the fuck, fuck would you Peloton. get your girlfriend exercise equipment? She's all this... obviously fine and confident in her own yeah. body. Yeah. See, I, yeah, didn't yeah. Get, I didn't know why people were mad. Yeah. yeah oh, that's, that's why. But... Literally, they have, like it's a dumb commercial, yeah. but, but it like, wasn't it, like it's com- Dude, and Anywho. you see Peloton's like Anywho. stock went up after that too. Oh yeah, they yeah, sold went, a shit ton. No, it went down. No, it went up after the first commercial too, and then the Ryan Reynolds thing came out, and then it went down after. No, dude, yes. yeah, look it up. Okay, wait, what was the Ryan Reynolds thing? Anyway, so Ryan Reynolds has a gin called Aviation Gin. So he got literally that afternoon. He started. He started to see all the internet backlash, <laughs> and he got her to, in his commercial. Like the, the and the commercial, actor, like yeah. it's perfect. It's forty seconds long. It literally starts out with her with like a deadpan, like I just had a shit day at work stare. Just start off, and it like in zooms space. in, and her like two girlfriends are sitting there. They're like kind of like, like, like I don't know, like yeah. should we talk to her? Like what should we do? And then, <laughs> and then they're just like, yeah, or, oh no, she's just like this gin is really good. And then they they're the gin like, in front yeah, of her. yeah. <laughs> so they like cheers, and she they like all take a sip, and she just chugs it. <laughs> and the one her one and girlfriend's like, here, have mine too. <laughs> yeah, you'll probably need it. And at the end, she's like, you look great, by the way. So in, like, so in shape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it was it's literally like the most genius commercial I've ever yeah. seen. So someone who had no idea about the first one probably just look at that and be that like, that was me at first. I saw yeah. I saw the tweet, and Ryan Reynolds' tweet was like the both the commercial. I looked at it, I'm like. Like, why is everyone freaking out? What's so funny? Like, this is just like, yeah. I just why people blew blew up about it. Yeah, but, and then uh, uh, that's but, funny. But the then, white but then I had to look. I looked back and I was like, I saw the first Peloton commercial. And I was like, ah, oh, that's a good move by Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> ah, ah, that's a big move. The, yeah, the light bulb went above my Literally, head. Like, not to be mean, she was like a nobody too. Like, yeah. like she wasn't a big name. Yeah, and so Ryan Reynolds did an interview with like Jimmy Fallon or something. He's like, "Man, I looked really hard to try and like, get find her like agent and get her contact information." <laughs> I wonder how you do that, man. But well, like, he probably, probably just... go through Peloton or whatever. The oh, yeah. dude's getting death threats for being like some misogynistic oh, asshole. Um, the actor, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, what? Yeah, chill out. One, he's an actor. Two, yeah. like. It's not even a bad commercial. She asked for it. No. And he got she her one. asked for it. Yeah. And oh yeah, and everyone's like, oh, like she's doing this for him. <laughs> it's like, no, she's what's not. wrong with that though? Like, if you want to look good for your she's... significant other, who the fuck cares? Well, yeah. The thing is, like, the want, like, she had, she wanted to do it either way. If it was yeah. for her or him, she wanted to do it. So was, it's not like the husband he... was like, take this and get your fat ass. They were in shape. saying he, they were saying he like forced her into it. It's, like, oh it's a fucking God. commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's like wrote in a script on their last twenty years of life. It's like. <laughs> yeah. Three thousand pages long Literally. every day of their life up to it's that like, point. Well, his dad did beat him, so he yes. did it the hard way. So... <laughs> Jeez. Fucking Twitter, man. Worst thing that happened to, to society. Love it, but also the best. Yeah, yeah. I, my Twitter you get, feed is. You get your Ten Commandment updates on Twitter, and mm-hmm. your what? I don't know. What are, what do the states have? The Constitution? Yeah, those guys. The Ten, <laughs> the Ten Commandments of the United States. You have to know what bills are being passed before they get passed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so this goes back to... This is completely off topic. Going back to the National Anthem mm-hmm. discussion that we had. They had the National Anthem at the USN, like the event that I was at. And all of us command. God and bless. then at first, like Shake everyone stood head. up to stand for the national anthem, and I was just sitting there. I was like, "You took what?" Me? And I was like, <laughs> "You took your hat off." Right? Uh, what do I do? And then like people started looking at me. I was like, "Oh fuck!" And then there was army people there, so I was like, "What? <laughs> why, 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 why wouldn't you automatically stand why, 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 why up? Why didn't you stand up? I don't know. I just don't see the point. 
Uh, you just uh, he's we've already got, we've already got, we had this we've whole conversation. This. I yeah, forgot. This. I realized yeah, yeah. what he's trying. He's trying to say, yeah. You just just stand for the if there's especially if there's service people around, just stand for the anthem. It's yeah. not hurt. You want to get in that fucking shit storm? <laughs> yeah, no, you don't. You don't want to stand for the anthem? I don't see the point. All right, what time is it? Do we have time to get into this? This, this no, we already get into it. This. We've ta- we literally talked about this one, like five podcasts. Yeah, we already out. decided we hate him. Don't worry. Yeah, we. I just Christian's that guy memory. who like takes a knee at football games in the upper bowl. Yeah, but the he's anthem. like the white guy that takes a knee. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes no huh. sense. I just. Hey, on, on, on another on it's, another note, Tyga remixed the Macarena, and it's fucking awesome. Oh, I heard that. I was playing at the bar. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Tyga remixed the it's Macarena. Sick. <laughs> I'm downloading it right now on Spotify. <laughs> they had a bunch of like really old school music remixed, and that was one of them. Yeah, it's well, like hardcore rap. His version macarena. probably talks like asses and like boobs oh, yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah, it's it. Well, that's what the song means. I'm macarena. Sure. I'm I'm pretty sure. Here, I'll play it for you guys. <laughs> can we oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure the it's, it's get fucking thingy right i'm gonna look up the lyrics but i'm pretty sure the original lyrics for the macarena are like it's just talking about just says hey song. macarena i thought is the no, whole song it, that's not <laughs> you look you look up the real ones i'll look up the uh taiga ones all right uh rob vamp while we're all on our phones uh, rob okay did you did you watch the dallas game this week yes i did what, what was the coin flip explain that to me okay so it was really stupid. The, it was just like, okay, so Dak said, like, we like we want to kick. So, okay. in other words, we want to defer. And the refs, for some reason, were thinking, like, okay, they want to kick both halves for some reason. And then the audio came out, and Dak clearly says, like, we want to kick. And then he says defer after. Yeah. And then they had to change the call. But then it happened again also in the Arizona Cardinals game, too. So, wait, so did they... Did they kick both? So they there was no they received the second half kickoff only because they, the NFL had to review the footage of Dak saying defer, which is really so stupid. they did that during the game. Though. Yeah, because when the game started, they were like everyone was tripping out. It was a huge thing on Twitter, being yeah. like, when the game started, they're like, we have to kick both halves. Yeah, like, that's so fucked. What are you laughing about, Drew? I see <laughs> cracking up over there. These lyrics. So the original <laughs> lyrics are basically about a girl named Macarena who, and he's just basically saying like, give your body joy, which basically he's trying thought, to say I like macarena was a type of nut <laughs> not wait it's a macadamia oh yeah. no macaroon no, maybe it's, it's a name a what's a macaroon it's a macaroon? i'm pretty sure it's a it's, legume it's, yeah. no not a no. legume no it's not a cookie it's a dessert a macaroon yeah i think oh, so right. it's like those like colorful They're the things. colorful cookies yeah. yeah what's a legume a veggie okay, do you guys want to no, hear like a, the yeah. tiger lyric not really but anyway so the original lyrics hey, are macarena, about like macarena macarena it's just basically about like <laughs> it's about <laughs> to a shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's about giving mic. your body joy and saying like don't worry about your boyfriend i'll take care of you and like come find me come find me relatable <laughs> okay <laughs> says the guy who had to get hit on by hookers whoa um, bro <laughs> that was years ago Bro, I didn't have to. I but chose it, to. It literally just says over and over again, like, <laughs> give your body joy, like, come with me, and... <laughs> give your body joy. That's my new pen that, That's line. supposed to be translated to... <laughs> my next Tinder match is getting hit with that. It's supposed to translate <laughs> to, like... Give some joy, <laughs> babe. And then Treat hit yourself with, the... <laughs> with my dick, basically. Jesus. Bitches on my stick, but my name ain't Harry Potter. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Bitches on my stick, but my name isn't Harry Potter. Nope. <laughs> You I should say that to Annie. She loves Harry Potter. He's one of my favorite <laughs> rap dudes just because, like, the lyrics are just so absurd. Like, any song like, he they makes, make it just zero like zero sense. It's like, ass, ass, money, money, tits, tits. And that's literally <laughs> every song. But it's like usually a Boom, banger. Number one. So, like, ass, 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 yeah. ass, 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 ass. What song I recently found out about from Hannah because she sent it to me, I didn't realize it was a real thing. The Nicki Minaj song, like, You a Stupid Ho. And she literally yeah. just says <laughs> that. Ho. You, you was. <laughs> yeah, she says that 50 times over, and that's the song. I actually like the Nicki Minaj's most recent song. I think it's called Megatron. You should yeah. listen to it. I fuck with it. I'll admit it. Nicki Minaj. She's also on my gym playlist. <laughs> she got some bangers for she, the gym. Her uh, one song. I think it's called Anybody with Young Thug. Also a good tune. I can't tell if he's being serious because I have no, no idea if any I'm of this is dead serious. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's a couple songs that are good for like a gym playlist. Oh yeah. Nicki Minaj can like. She can get she it. She can spit. She can get it too also. <laughs> I don't know about uh lyrics she yeah. can spit lyrics yeah she people. can spit fire bro she can spit <laughs> <laughs> sammy sprinkler <laughs> okay Nicki minaj i never thought i'd say that sentence but here we are <laughs> um so what are we gonna do for the holiday schedule 
we can talk about it after the podcast. Well, it's yeah, yeah, I want to inform that our we'll be here Monday or Audible people. Maybe, maybe you will be. Maybe. I, I will be, I will be able you to. Have? It's like an hour and a half what commitment. You mean a life. What do you have? I'll be here a lot. There you okay, go. so Rob, we'll you're have, the only one. We'll have to do it at like four. No, we won't. He works. Well, how are we gonna do it? Well, I have I I'll, I have my I'll, family stuff I'll, on, I'll be done on Monday. Four. I'm lucky. Okay. Come over at four. Yeah, looks like you're, looks like you're paying up, pal. Oh god, all this come late. Worst you case scenario. You almost made it. Wait, no, we can, how are you gonna come late to a podcast? Wait, we could we could just do it. Well, we again we can discuss this after. What are yeah. We <laughs> discuss it now. Well. Like no, we have to discuss it now. We could do it Cause. later. I could just climb. We could climb before. Well, because uh, we'll get. Yeah, we'll talk about it after, but. Shane, the, Shane's biggest concern about all this is when we climb. Wait, yeah, Monday <laughs> night, fair. I'm not wrecking that. <laughs> I heard oh. that crack. What was that? Oh, that was just me. That was my knee. Oh, it just cracked fuck? so loudly. <laughs> oh. So you have arthritis. No wonder your fucking knees don't work. Right? So have you not climbed at all since? No. Well, since you that, left. Yeah. <clears throat> Did you injure it? I don't know, man. On my, ti- on my time off, it just started He's got hurting. some freaking sausage link legs you have like here. arthritis or some I shit i probably, probably fractured it <laughs> you well, this one it could be hurt. like this is it like hurts. swelling no if you fractured it you'd be in a lot more pain wouldn't you it depends i, I, I put on a mask and yeah, you're not no, in pain. I, can, <laughs> I can i can run upstairs so like it's not that bad but it's like, <laughs> on all fours it's it's no it's when i torque it in i certain, have a broken foot but i can run upstairs it's when i torque it in certain ways it just it just oh, it's a twerk at Drew first i was like twerk twerk yeah. the gym and just runs and goes right up the wall <laughs> <laughs> look what i can do but i can't climb a v2 yeah yikes yeah who That's knows fucked. going to the doctor on thursday we'll see let's go to physio dude well, I'm excited to get back into rock climbing. Although I'm not going tonight because I'm fucking exhausted. Wow, you guys all fucking bailed. You're Shane. a bitch. I never You're said less I was of a bitch. You're less of a bitch. I get it. <laughs> we'll You're just play a bitch. Red Dead. No, I'm going climbing. I'm not. And then playing Red. <laughs> no, I'm not. True, we can play games. Let's go. <laughs> I'm probably gonna go to bed at like 11 though. I'm so fucking tired. I gotta do laundry. Wow. Oh fuck. So do I. My no, dude. I, I put my laundry in the washing machine like three this afternoon. <laughs> when you get home, just turn that washing machine back on. Oh, there's gonna be so much mold in there. <laughs> it's just gonna Hopefully, stink. my parents moved it over. Probably not. Last time they didn't, they said like. Rob's you got like you, when you get home, just turn it back on. Yeah, I, I might have to. <laughs> Rob's got like three dress shirts just wrinkling away. In no, there. my work shirts in there, and I work tomorrow. <laughs> fuck. Oh, speaking Yikes. of dress shirts. Um, so on Sunday I had to check out of the hotel room cause we had to play on stage. Right. And I was going to be there at 11, which is checkout time. And in my hurry. And also like, I only had five hours of sleep. I forgot my, the bag that you put your suit no. in and the hanger and the shoe bags and my phone charger all in the room. Oh God. Like, and did then, you forget your shoes in there? No, it was just the bags. Cause like I was just wearing my Yo, suit. Take in this guy has two bags one for each shoe had <laughs> had one for each shoe but anyway are you like a fucking prince or something yes but now i lost it all because except for the bag i, I got the bag everything. back and then i went back to the maid and was like hey like did you find this she pulls out the bag gives me like this whole sob, sob story about how she found it i was like it's just hanging in my room <laughs> and then um she's like i had to pull it pry it from the clutches of a dead old man <laughs> and then i was like i had oh. to dust it five times until i found it i was like what happened to the hanger and the shoe bags and she said oh we threw all those out <laughs> really just threw them out and i was like begging her i was like can i please just get like a hanger any type of hanger like, even a wire one i'll take that and then she's like, oh, I'm going to have to go, like, ask my supervisor, find out all this shit. Okay, go do it. <laughs> and then she went and talked to them. Um, and she's like, oh, it doesn't look good, but I'll go to the next floor. And she just, like, grabbed one from a random room and handed it to me. And she's like, if it's, anyone asks, that came it's, with your it's suit. It's Las Vegas. I thought you could just call and get whatever the hell you need. Yeah, literally. She's a problem solver, at least. Yeah. That's Steals good. it from the person a floor under. <laughs> the guy below them is probably like, where the fuck's my hanger? <laughs> One sec, have... goes a floor lower. <laughs> it's just working her way it's down. It's just a fucking chain of just getting your <laughs> hanger stolen. I go next year. She takes my hanger. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Charges you interest for like the loan of the hanger. Yeah. At least you're leasing the hanger. <laughs> Should probably double check that, man. Might be in the paperwork somewhere. I, I'm still not even sure because I checked out on my phone and all it did was just like, all right, you're good. How did you get in the room? Well, I had already left. Like, I took out all my stuff. Oh, you checked out? Yeah. You put the car oh, gotcha. you have to use. And then I had to go, like, to the front desk and get a new key just to go in there, and then everything was gone. I also like, didn't know I lost my charger until I got to the airport. <laughs> Fuck me. I don't like have... a dead phone. 
I had like 30% left. I actually just managed to survive all the way back home, but I just couldn't use it. That's lucky. I had it on battery saver and couldn't use it. So My new phone yeah. would have been fine at 30%. Would have lasted another whole day. Just bragging, you know. <laughs> I have an iPhone now, in case you're wondering. <laughs> you have to call me sir. I didn't call you sir. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You have to call me sir. <laughs> that was the stupidest fucking text I've ever received from Rob. <laughs> you have to call me sir now. I have an iPhone. <laughs> I don't remember what you texted me. I just said, fuck it. I'm saying this first. And then I forgot, <laughs> and then I forgot to answer your question after. I yeah. Like, oh, shit. I think I was like, like genuinely hey, asking man, you something. Hey, man, my family's not doing well. I, gotta go. I have an iPhone. You got to call me sir. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, man, come quick. I crashed my car. Bro, I got an iPhone. How sick is this? <laughs> That'd be pretty bad. All right. Any final thoughts? Because we should wrap up here. Uh, let's go Vikings. Go to Big the win yesterday. Go Leafs. Go. Go Can't Vikings. Wait. They're going to make the playoffs. They're going to mock gonna Buffalo play. tomorrow. They're gonna play New Orleans first round and lose. Yeah, just a pass game. They're gonna get <laughs> probably gonna to be whacked. honest. Wait, is it the finals? No, nah, it will be soon weeks. though. There's Two a, weeks left. There's of the a big season, game on finals or wild card quarterfinal semifinal. So we're like there'll be a two week break for all the college one's football. Only though. one game, right? Yeah. yeah, that's why it's I like that because it's like having a best of seven series is cool, but <clears throat> but I think it's a better measure of like game prep preparedness having one game. one game can you imagine if football was best of seven dude people would be fucking broken <laughs> by game die. game seven you'd have a whole new roster of players <laughs> but actually <laughs> um but do you yeah. have any final thoughts no i'm good you're ready to go to bed aren't you <laughs> kind of yeah, yeah we're playing conquest all right everyone see you we're playing uh, siege back here monday at the normal time yep <laughs> we'll, we'll, uh, we'll put on yeah. i guess christian will put up an update as to what the time well, is gonna it'll work. actually depend because if we manage to get like if all my uh, Corsair or Elgato stuff come in, then we can have the video podcast. But I don't think we'll be able to stream anymore the podcast once we have that. Why? Because if I'm having two cameras, I either have to swap them live while we're streaming, or I have to only show one and then record how the many, other. How many people watch it live? Not enough to uh, warrant it. Like people. what? Like under hundred? Yeah. That's so like great. not enough to warrant. By name. <laughs> yeah. Not not enough to warrant to buy another I computer to do and, that. Uh... I mean, I have like my a few t- devices at home. We'll have to stream on it, but that's about it. You know, seven or eight. Rob tablets. will just bring in his iPhone and yeah, stream from the iPhone because uh, he's an iPhone gang now. I used to right. in the flesh. <laughs> Anyways, we'll head off. I uh, will see you guys next week. Yeah, Bye. I'll foot off. Thanks. Yeah.